Hit it. In three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Yo, what's happening? Back to Mike on a Platter. Welcome back. What's By the my, way, what, what's my a... name? What's my name, Poppy? Eric. What's your name, Poppy? Jorge. Or George. Eric and Poppy, here we are. Back, You're back with Mike on a Platter. And George, Jorge, Poppy, the multi-identity, multi-crisis. That's what happens when, uh, you know, you're abused at a young age. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Just kidding. Everybody's abused at a young age, dude. I think there's way more people that are than not. But you you brought up something. Um, speaking of abuse, we'll talk about personal abuse. Wow. You, you, you got a great subject that you wanted to talk about here. What was it? Addiction. Addiction, more specifically. Addiction during the pandemic. Wow, you hear that, suckas? How many of you are sitting out front with your neighbors having beers every afternoon? Exactly. Bloody Marys every morning. Mm -hmm. Mimosas for brunch. A nightcap. Yeah. Monday through Friday. I can say that I've definitely had a lot more beers after I'm done with my work at homework. Oh, yeah, dude. For sure. I mean, I don't have a job, and I... pretend like i have one you know and i sip it like you, it's the 50s you do have a job it's this podcast dude and this youtube hey, channel this is my life this is this is my life it's now or never mm-hmm. i put my heart and soul i into don't want to live forever <laughs> yeah do you put your heart and soul into that beer that you drink every afternoon I don't drink every afternoon, but when all this first started, best believe I spent over a hundred dollars in alcohol. No kidding. Yeah, like just, oh my god, I gotta stock up, and I just bought a shit ton of wine. Yeah, along alcohol. with your toilet paper. You know what? I was okay. I was stocked up, and you know why? Because for Christmas, I asked for uh, home supplies. Really? Yeah. Before all this happened, and I just ha- for some reason I'm just like, man. Premonition, maybe. Was this from your mommy and daddy? Uh, yeah, or anybody. I'm just so, so, shit, Yeah, well, for <laughs> Christmas, I just asked for, you know, supplies, toilet paper and towels and disposable plates and food. And yeah, dude, I, I got all this Look shit. at that. You hoarded without having to hoard. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, dude, you, you worked you, out. You must have, like, one of them extra sensory perceptions. Yeah. I have my third eye open, bro. Dang, homie. Yeah. So, addiction, pandemic. It's very right real. now, right here. This is what's going down. Yeah, it's very real. Well, what are the contributing factors? What's what's causing this? Boredom. Boredom. Losing okay. your job. Losing your job. Feeling like a caged animal. Okay. So, uh, no sense of purpose. Exactly. What else? Um, already having a problem. You know, and uh, this pandemic. It, okay, so you don't you don't have the distraction of exactly. uh, of uh, work or or whatever it is that was keeping you busy. It's it's no longer there. So now you're you're wallowing. Yeah. You don't have that distraction anymore because you never took care of your shit. Yeah, now you're shoving X up your ass. I've never done that. How was <laughs> how's that work? I don't know. I think it's pretty uh, straightforward. So, sounds like a waste of a tab of X. You know what? I heard it's not. No shit. And believe it or not. Actually, no shit. And yeah. X. Yeah. Not shit. X. When uh, <laughs> when in my hardcore partying days, um, I was hanging out with a bunch of ravers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, some of the girls, dude, they would do that shit. It wouldn't, it, it wasn't the, oh, it wasn't the guys. It was the girls that did it. Really? Just right up there. They'd go to the restroom, you know, and put one in there. No kidding. Bypasses all the other shit, all the, some organs, and you just, boom, instant. It's almost like, or or what some people do, what the guys mainly did was they would chew it in their mouth. Disgusting. But it would just hit harder because it's a direct hit. Right, instead of your body stream. having to break down a pill. Yeah, dude. Crazy, yeah. man. You know, speaking of... X. <clears throat> I've heard so many stories about 
you know, oh, nobody's ever died on X. And then, oh, well, what hell is it? Is mm. it no one's really ever died on X, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Is it from drinking too much water? No, I think it's just, um, I think some, well, two, I feel like it's two things. One, either, you know, uh, well, it could be multiple things, but to me, it could either be, you know, you've done it for so long that your body has become, uh, you know, somewhat uh, used to it. What is it called? Your tolerance goes up. Yeah, immunity so you take more. And then you fuck yourself. Yeah, because basically you're just you're just uh, creating a sept- septicness in your exactly. body. Exactly. And then the other one is, oh, let me try it for the first couple times in my life, you know, and your body just can't handle it. Everybody's built different, and it has sure. a, an extremely negative effect on you. And boom, you're dead. Or three, uh, you're just parting too hard and you OD. So, I guess it's kind of like are people uh, uh, getting X addicted? Right no, now? no. I mean, could What's be. the word on the street, homie? I think it's just mainly alcohol. A lot of alcohol. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, look on social media. Alcohol everywhere. Yeah, watch watch a mic on the platter or listen to a mic on the platter podcast. Exactly. We're always drinking something. I know. Now I feel bad. Nah, you know what? We're, we're, not, we're not like sitting here drinking until we fall down. We're just having a nice beverage. Yeah. But when I get home, it's a different story. I mean, you want to see the tracks on my arm? No. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, dude, it's it's very real. And um, heroin? Uh, possibly. I know. Uh, I I read an article saying that. Uh, it said that people are smoking a lot more weed, which isn't as you know crazy, but uh, also coke. People are doing a lot of coke right now. Man, you got a lot of bored people. Yeah, dude. Drinking a lot, doing coke. Uh, Not as much X. Uh, Heroin, probably. Maybe like somewhere in the, you know, Midwest (laughs) where it's like rampant out there. Damn, dude. Riverside. Yeah, (laughs) probably. Oh, man. Michigan. Chicago. Well, you know, know, I, I can understand. You know, it's it's tough right now, you know. You're being told not to do anything, to hunker down. That's it's, it's tough. Oh my god, it must be so tough because you know the whales and all the animals in zoos, the orcas. At orcas sea at Sea World spend fifty Poor years sea of their World. life in a fucking circle, just swimming around. Hello. Yeah. And I these know. animals live to be a hundred. It's crazy. Or more. Yeah, zoos and captivity and things like that are bittersweet. It's it's neat to see those animals, but often you're seeing those animals in a completely deranged and crazy state because they're going crazy from being in there. It's it's kind of horrifying. It is, dude. I mean, and, and it's it's crazy because I've seen like so many posts about celebrities complaining, and it's funny as hell because Ricky Gervais clowns all of the celebrities that have been complaining about you know the quarantine and the stay home mm-hmm. order because it's it's true what he's saying. He's like, dude, like you're you're quarantining with your family or whatever your close relatives um and friends in a big ass mansion with the pool and all these awesome amenities you know but what about everybody else like like a lot of people don't live that luxury so i mean what do you have to complain about true I you mean, know you, and then, you got you, you can run laps around your estate yeah yeah it's not a house <laughs> oh, estate let it's me show estate. you the state let me uh give you a tour around the grounds yes it's like hop in the golf cart. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Don't want to hear your story. You know, and uh, what really fucking drives me crazy is all these um, social media influ- influencers and um, just a lot of people on social media that are are on the same in the same boat. Like they're nobody. You know, they're just. I mean, they could be social. You know, they could be famous to some people, but you know, they're they're complaining about it. They're using social media like therapy and and you know reaching out to their fans saying stay strong everybody this thing is tough and it's like what the fuck we've only been quarantined for like six weeks right swear like it's been a year oh my god dude and i'm sorry just let me vent a little more please Uh, do poppy please do what drives me fucking crazy dude is like i see like especially when people use social media as like a form of like let me tell everybody my feelings because I want to feel important or I want them to know how I'm feeling because, you know, I, I want to get uh, whatever. They need attention. 
you know, and somebody will post a picture. Attention like, whores. Yeah, it's like they'll post a picture, you know, and it's dated from back in 2015. And the caption reads, back when family gatherings were a thing. <sighs> Bitch, that picture was taken in 2015. We were literally, we were, everybody was enjoying everybody's company like six weeks ago. They swear like it's been right. three or five years. Imagine what they would do if we had a quarantine for a year. People would probably commit suicide. Hey, you know what? I'll bet you all. Yeah, right. It's a bunch of fucking crybabies. And, and, I'll and bet you. I'll bet you all those. Uh, a, a lot of those celebrities now are doing, are addicted to something now. Probably, and it's crazy. If they weren't before already. And and no the, offense. Yeah, and, and the craziest thing, dude, it's just like, man, I I'm 29, and I don't. I never post shit like that because huh? I don't want. I don't give a shit if people know how I'm feeling. I don't give a shit about them. I won't be at their funeral because at the end of the day, I mean, I live my life and I keep going, but some of these people do, they, they need the attention. You know, they, it's like, it's so crazy. And then a lot of these people are like your age. And I mean, a lot of them are also my age, but it's that range being between 30 and 50. Yeah. And it's just basically, it's crazy, dude. I'm like, man, come on. You're a fucking adult. You, you're 50 something and you, you need this much attention in your life. You need to let people know how, oh my God, six weeks ago, life was so much better. I was able to do this and do this with my friends and, and people just reminisce as if they've been gone for 10 years. Like, <sighs> oh, it pisses me Stupid. off. Stupid. You know what, Poppy? I feel for you. I'm t- I'm tired of it, dude. I, I'm about to like. You want to blast back? No, I just. I'm about to quit wanna, social media. You want to turn of off your shit. turn off your technology? Seriously, dude. Because, I mean, I don't do that shit. I don't care. Like, I gotta go through it too. But you don't see me go. Oh my god! Oh, six weeks ago, I was somebody. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, it's kind of dramatic, right? Yeah. Well, it's. Yeah, Hollywood. Not even Hollywood, regular people too. Do tell me tell the story about the the hayride. Oh, this is an example. Yeah, um, <coughs> trauma. Well, th- but that, so that, that's I, the that, I went, that's yeah, the okay. cult, the so, Hollywood culture. So yeah, that's the Hollywood. So I went on this uh, haunted hayride somewhere in L.A. It's pretty famous. I, I, it's called the haunted hayride, and um, I went a few years back. And um, there was this lady, dude. It was the equivalent of like a Knott's Berry Farm, like maze. You can totally tell when people were gonna pop out. And it's not like you're <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Like you know what's you know what would be scary if they say, okay, you start at point A, get to point B. You have no map, you know, and there there's gates. Figure you know, it out. So, yeah, right. figure it out. But we're not gonna tell you where's what. And there's gonna be a lot of smoke, a lot of dust whatever it's like that sounds scary to me and you're on your own bye you know but not like we're gonna take you through this little course on a little hayride and have people jump out and grab you but they can't touch you though because we don't want a lawsuit right and you can't run away (laughs) you're just on this fucking tractor but anyway it's so stupid but um but this fucking lady (laughs) she was the only one like pretending to be scared, but to do this, she was fucking. She was pulling out over like, the top. Yeah, like I don't know. It it was the funniest thing. And then every time somebody would like jump scare her, I you could see them coming, and she'd still be like, ah, and she'd get on her knees, and like in the middle of everybody, literally like she'd oh, crawl backwards like this, you know, and then like get on her knees and put her hands out like that, and go ah, like this. <laughs> Like <laughs> fucking yell, dude! It, it's like it was like a movie, and I'm like, "Are you getting no!" <laughs> exactly. And oh, now, dude. dude, I was like so embarrassed for this girl. Everybody was <laughs> like, "What the fuck?" Even her friends were like, uh, "Yo, man, we're not down. with her. Yeah. We're not with her, man." Hey, man, homie, get that girl to chill. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was so funny. Oh my god. Jeez. Wow. Over dramatic. Yeah. Attention whore. Addicted on attention. I was so scared. Well, there it is. There's there's another another form of addiction. Another whoa, horrible form of addiction. Oh, 
Witness them. Oh, you know what else is a thing? In today's times. Oh, Hollyweirdians. Yeah. Plastic surgery is Social media blasting how horrible everything is in their lives. Mm-hmm. It must be really hard living in a... That's an addiction. You know, big mansion with your little golf course. Right, and get to go swimming five yeah. times a day, play exactly. tennis. Play basketball with your kids. Yep. Go down to your uh, one of your six cellars and pull out any nice fine wine and food you want. Oh, wow. That sounds nice. Right. That sounds pleasant, I may say. It does. Get out, get all your all your art supplies out and like paint something, <laughs> draw instead of draw, uh, get creative out in your backyard and find a little section of your estate <laughs> and manicure it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Work on those muscles and exactly. go out there and cut your own lawn. All right. So, aside from the alcohol addiction, I think uh, I think we're I I think we're getting more and more addicted to our technology. Yeah. I believe it. I mean, that's all we got right now. People don't read. I mean, people do read books, but not a lot of them. Hey, so since we're here in California and we're here in Southern California, specifically in the Orange, LA county areas Mm -hmm. i heard it was (coughs) in red it was a nice warm day this weekend Mm -hmm. and a lot of people went to orange county beaches that were open and now governor newsom is saying that may set us back a few weeks nice i hope so he said you know whose fault it is huntington beach yep huntington beach decided to stay open is california's florida pretty much but you know what I'll be honest, I went out and surfed, but I surfed as smart as I could. I didn't hang out on the beach, tried to stay away from people, yada, yada, yada. But going out and hanging out on the beach like it's a normal day, like everything's okay, and flocking to the beaches because you found out through the grapevine that Orange County was open. Oh, come on, man, really? Mm-hmm. Chill. I know, man. That that. Piss, I mean, it doesn't piss me off, but it's just like, come on, dude, just get with the program. If you just, if we all just stay home and listen to the rules, we'll be out of this a lot faster. You know it. Exactly. But being out, going and hanging on the beach with your six or seven friends, you know, mm-hmm. drinking your white claw. Come on, hanging out on the beach all day like nothing's going on, with tons of other people walking around. Come mm-hmm. on, were y'all wearing your masks? No, I know you weren't. Wearing your mask because I saw you all. Hey. As I was dashing to the ocean to get some waves and dashing to get back, I saw you all on the beach, not wearing your masks, hanging out for hours. So am I part of the problem if uh, I'm cruising down that coastline? In what way? Just cruising, just to kind of get some fresh on air. On your bike, you know? on your motorcycle, no, 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 on your uh, bicycle. I don't have my motorcycle anymore, but um, in my, in my uh, car. That or must have been hard. It was. Um, but, yeah, just in my car, just Cruising down the coast with my girl, my dog, just to look at the ocean, look at the clear skies. Takes m- no more than an hour. Just straight there. I don't know. Straight back. We don't stop. We don't get out of our cars. We're just enjoying, you know, the cruise. Well, I guess the truth of the matter is, just like me, taking a chance out in the water, I'm jeopardizing the well-being of a firefighter or a lifeguard who, if something happened to me, they'd have to come rescue me. And if I was asymptomatic, I could get them sick. So I get it. Bad, bad Eric. No candy. So, um, if you're out and you're driving around and there's an accident and they have to deal with you, well. You're putting people at risk, man. That's right. We're all putting each other at risk. And, you know, it's what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Meaning, I can't say that what I did was okay because that means everybody else can do it, you know, but. You know, you, you hey. got to assess the situation. If you show up somewhere and there's a thousand people, well, maybe you should think twice about it. Say, hey, wait a second. Is this a good idea to further exacerbate this situation? Well, it's not like you're a repeat offender. A lot of those people out there are. True. They go to the beach every day because they don't give a shit. 
I mean, how many times do you go out surfing? You know, it's funny. My wife even said, don't take the kids to the beach this weekend. It's going to be packed down there. And you know that it is because a lot of people are fed up. They're tired of being in their house. They want to be done. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be busy down there. Please don't take the kids, and please don't go down there to do that. I was like, all right, I'll just go surreptitiously, go get my surf on, and then come home. So she was thinking about it, you know? Then you went to TK Burger. Had a few beers with the. I went of the to locals. Good Burger. Home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Have you been there? TK T- Burger? TK Burger? Yeah. No, I don't think I have. What? Am I missing? Yeah, dude, you're missing out. Okay, I'll go make it a, make it a real thing. It is, it once is a I fucking can do it. landmark down there. Dang, homie. Yeah, you gotta go. Good burger. All right. So, yeah, I know. It's tough. We're all feeling cooped up and ready to explode. But we still have to follow the rules. Be more vigilant. Exactly. If you go if you if you're planning to take your family to the beach this weekend and you show up and you can't find parking, okay? That's sign number 1. Mm-hmm. All right? If you look out at the beach and you see tons of people peppering the salt and peppered in the beach, that's sign number 2. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're all kind of messing up there a little bit. Mhm. Think twice about it. And if you have uh, 10 or 20 of your friends hitting you up saying, hey, let's hit up the beach, that's another red flag. Another red flag. Okay. We're all supposed to be social distancing. Now, exactly. Poppy here is in my circle. Mm-hmm. And we've we've accepted that we are going to stay within our circle. He's not going to violate it. I'm not violating my circle. But getting together with all those friends that you, you know, haven't seen in a month or a few weeks, uh, you know, and you don't know who they've been with and who they've been with and who they and who they and who they've been with. You see where I'm going here? Mm-hmm. Don't push it. Our circle's tight. Yep. And believe me, I wear a mask when I go out and buy groceries. So do I. I don't wear it when people are around, but as soon as I see some dude or some chick walking by without their mask on, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, whoa. And I walk away, and I'm like, whoa. Huh, huh. Psh, psh, psh. Yeah, tough times we're living in. I'm not saying we're going to be perfect. Everybody's going to screw up. Everybody's going to make a mistake. Everybody's going to make a lot of weird noises. We're not going to be perfect, but just don't be blatant. That's the point. Use caution. Be surreptitious. Uh, use good judgment. If it feels a little like it's maybe not a good idea, eh, I would listen to that. Mm-hmm. You know, I will say that um, my cocktails have gotten very tasty because I've had a lot of practice. Oh, yeah? G- <laughs> yeah? Turning into a good bartender? Yeah, and I've experimented with like different flavors and different sodas and juices and everything and garnishes. I like the way dude, you say sodas and juices. Yeah, dude, it's it's cool. You feel like, you know, like Tom Cruise in that movie. With cocktails? Cocktails. <laughs> Trying to remember the theme song. That was the Beach Boys. Come on, wanna take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty yeah. mama, down in Coco, mama. mama. We'll take mama. it fast and then we'll take it slow. Yeah. That's where we wanna go, down Coco, mama. Right? Yeah, and you hear in the beginning, the fucking yeah. Yep. Bermuda, Bahama, Aruba. There was a Beach Boys movie that came out that was really good. It oh, was the, the story one that of their life happened, uh, or that came out like a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, recent. Yeah, it was the dude really with good. the long hair. Yep. Yeah, I want to see that. Without getting too far off course, right? No, we're not. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're doing all right. Well, tell me more about that movie. Uh, like, what makes it good? Is it the acting, the story? Is it? Is it? You know what? I don't have my technology accurate. in front of me, so I can't look it up and see what the name of it was. But basically, you can look it up. It's the Beach Boy story. It's the story of the. The, the the lead singer and and the, and the band and his his problems that he had and, his, and drug addiction and the med, uh, mental illness and all that stuff oh, shit. and coming out the other side it was really cool it was a great movie it was a trip I remember I had a teacher in high school uh, Mr Stone <laughs> he uh, he was an old dude and I remember he used to always say like man the Beach Boys were great you know on vinyl but live 
He's like, they fucking sucked. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And oh, he was no. just one of those, like, hardcore, like, dudes, you know, old guys that don't give a shit, speak their mind. And I guess I remember somebody was playing Beach Boys, like, just randomly. And he was like, oh, man, I remember when I was young, I used to go out there and watch those guys. And, you know, I, it was a waste of my fucking money. Because <laughs> like, they suck at live. Yeah. Well, but on I, vinyl, they sound great. Uh, the, the the lead guy there wrote all wrote a lot of the songs or put orchestrated a lot of the songs. So who knows? Maybe they just, I don't know. Maybe the chemistry was weird. It's not like a band band, right? Yeah. It's almost like studioed a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Funny. All right, Poppy. Well, you know what? I think we're going to let everybody go here. As far as addiction, hey, we're all addicted to something. And uh, I'll tell you what, the well, alcohol addiction during this time of, of uh, boredom, yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't yeah. build no habits you're going to you regret know, when you, when work kicks back in again. Exactly, because then if they drug <laughs> test your ass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But don't, you know, don't uh, don't go into that rabbit hole too far. Yeah. You'll never know where you end up. That's right. All right, you guys. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks again. We'll catch you next time. Late.